to Faith Created Home and my diet vlog of my juice and smoothie fasts. Today is an absolutely beautiful day. The sun's decided to shine and uh, it's nice and warm. It's only about quarter past nine, half nine in the morning but uh, it's beautiful so I'm looking forward to a lovely day in the garden today. Uh, I never got round to doing a vlog yesterday because I had a really busy day. I went shopping in the morning which usually takes most of the day because we have to travel quite far from the house to get to the supermarket with being in a rural location. So uh, yeah, that takes up quite a lot of time. And then when I got home, I was preparing a lot of the fruit and the veg to go in the fridge and the freezer um, so it doesn't go off. I got quite a bit yesterday. I think I overspent yesterday. I went from spending £31 last week to spending about £60 this week. So uh, yeah, I'm consuming, we are both really consuming a lot of fruit and a lot of veg and I don't want to skimp on buying fresh produce and a lot of it's gone in the freezer so it'll keep over till next week so it wasn't com completely uh, for this week, it is going to carry over for uh, the next couple of weeks and um, we also bought nuts and seeds and things like that as well and I got some maca powder so it wasn't all for this week, so it's a bit difficult when you do it like that to be able to tell how much you've spent on a week. 
Um, I did get some more tinned peaches because I'm enjoying them in my smoothies. So I got 10 tins of that and I think they were only about 20p a tin. So it's definitely worth it because I only use half a tin at a time in a smoothie. So it's like 10p a portion. So that's not bad. I also bought um, some lettuce that you get in a pack like this. I went to Lidl. Um, but it's got two different varieties in it. I think it's a hispy lettuce because it's curly. Um, it's got green and red. Excuse me, I'm recording upside down still. It's got green and red in it. Um, but the great thing about it is, is it's got a root ball on the bottom. So I buy these to plant in the garden. They're really, really useful. Um, because you can just use them as a cut and come again lettuce and just pick off the outside leaves Let it regrow and then cut off the outside leaves again. So I think that was a pound And that will last us for the rest of the summer probably if I don't let it go to seed and I don't let it bolt So yeah, I was pleased with that. The other thing that I bought which I buy quite regularly is um, potted herbs And the great thing about them is is I can plant these in the garden again because they're in a pot and they've got a good root ball on them and the good thing is that you can divide them as well because all these little shoots around here are all individual plants so you could actually divide it up but I just plant the whole thing in because they're only about 70p I think in the supermarket so I got curled parsley this time. Last time I got flat leaf parsley and I've got one that I grew last year that's now just going to seeds so uh, I'm going to leave that to go, I'm going to leave the seeds and the flowers on that and then pick the seeds and use them in my cooking. So that was that one. I've also been in the garden this morning um, which is where I am now. I'm just sat on the garden with my trusty jug of water which I start the day with and my straw. And I've been picking things from my smoothie and uh, for a herbal tea recipe for today. So what I've been doing is I've been picking a flower called a mullion flower. Oh, let me find the thing. There it is. I've been picking these little flowers and they're off a plant called a mullion plant, which you've probably got in your garden. It's a really tall plant that uh, has a spike, a flower spike coming out of it. And it's got really, really fairy leaves on it. They're not quite silver. They're like a green colour with like a silver fair on the top. So I've brought the um, plant in with other plants from my other garden two years ago. And it seems to have spread quite readily around the garden. So, uh, yeah, I've been picking these little flowers. There's the thing. These little flowers here. I've got some in my little cup. Got some there, and they're a lovely yellow colour. So I'm going to make a, a tea with them because in my nice little my little mushroom cup. Um, yeah, I'm going to make a tea with them because they're really good for clearing mucus off your chest, uh, for unclogging your sinuses, and for uh, your lungs and for general well-being in your lungs. And one of the things I was struggling with with being overweight was uh, my breath and breathlessness. Uh, when we lived in our other house we had quite a smoky fire and a neighbour who had a really smoky fire and I suffered a lot with my chest because there was damp in the house as well and uh, yeah I had like a bronchial chest, a bronchial cough. So I've been using these mullion flowers now for gosh about 18 months I think and I try to have them periodically a um, couple of times a month. You don't want to take it every day because it's going to be you want to try, when you're taking herbal remedies and tonics and things, you want to try and vary them throughout the week and not take one thing constantly throughout the week. So I try to take that every couple of weeks or so. Every two or three weeks I'll just have a tea um, and then I'll boil the kettle again and use the flowers again for a second time and then throw them away. Um, and I find that that's quite good for my chest. The other thing that I've picked today 
is kale, nice big kale leaf and that's going to go in my morning smoothie and my, I've got going to pick another one for this afternoon um, but then this big stem I can use again in a juice so yeah I really like these kales because I like the size of the leaves are huge um, and this one this variety is called a uh, walking stick kale which I planted last year I sowed the seeds last year and it's a perennial kale so it comes back year after year and apparently if you grow the stems straight you can actually use the stems for making walking sticks hence the name walking stick kale so uh, I don't quite know how they turn out I've not actually seen any um, people on YouTube doing it but yeah they do have a really good stem on them so yeah so that's going to go in my smoothie today so I just thought to come and see you this morning before I get on with my day as I say I had a busy day yesterday I've done some footage for you of uh, the supermarket and I'm going to go on a walk a bit later on so I might do a separate video for that one and show you my walk today so because uh, otherwise it's going to be a really long video and I'm trying to keep them short because then it means it's not so much editing and uh, it means the upload time's a lot quicker as well so I'm going to go in the house so I'll just take you inside right okay so we're back in my kitchen and I'll show you what I've done with the fridge so this is my fridge and what I've done is I put everything in boxes so let me just lift this one out. I put everything in boxes and what I've done is I've put a layer of kitchen paper at the bottom, right at the bottom of the lettuce down there, piled all my lettuce in and then popped a piece of kitchen paper on the top. I'm using that really good absorbent stuff. Um, the blue and white one it's sold as being reusable sheets so what I do is I put that on the top and then pop the lid back on and pop that in the free in the fridge and what I've found that does is it keeps the condensation off the food the tissue paper absorbs the condensation and it puts like a barrier between the food and the water so it stops the food going off so I've actually kept Remain lettuce in my fridge now for nearly two weeks in one of the boxes. This is the fresh box I started yesterday, but I have another box that I have from last week. Um, this is my tomatoes. These are what's left from last week as well. Um, and I've done the same in there. The bigger ones are from last week. And as you can see, there's nothing wrong with them. They're perfectly fresh. There's not a lot of water on them. Um, I could possibly do with changing the piece of kitchen towel at the bottom. But other than that, they're perfectly fine. So what I've done is I've stored the cherry tomatoes in the same box. And then I just put the paper back on the top and I've actually got a couple of pieces left from yesterday that I've popped on the top as well to keep them away from the other ones. So that's how I'm keeping my, my, my tomatoes. As you can see, I've done that with my carrots, which some of them are still there from last week. I've done it with the aubergines. I've put paper on the bottom there from last week. Um, I've got courgettes as well, I've done the same. That's my lettuce from last week. My husband, I made some hummus for my husband. That's from a few days ago and that's keeping fresh in that box. Um, I've got plums. I've got plums. I've got radish, all in boxes. Um, I've even got my avocados in boxes and that's keeping them fresh. Um, I've made, this is what I made for last night's tea for my husband and um, yeah that's going to go in the freezer that's my juice my smoothie from yesterday the day before yesterday so I'm going to have that today um, I also like to buy this coconut water and I pop that in my green smoothies just a cupful um, or maybe even half a cupful I don't put that much in 
but I do enjoy it. I do think it's nice and I do think it's good for you as well, your coconut water. Then in the bottom here, I have my watercress, spinach and rocket salad, but I've put paper in the bag to keep the leaves nice and fresh. And it seems to work. I've done that for the rocket. And I've also done that for my, there's my spinach. And it's nice and dry. It's not got any moisture on it. So that'll make it keep longer. It stops it sweating. It stops it sweating and um, it lasts longer. So that's what I've done with that. This is a uh, rocket I've had since last week. And because I've done the tissue paper again, it's kept it nice and fresh. So that's that one. That's what I've done with my fridge to keep my fresh stuff fresh. And then what I also did, I got my smoothies ready as well yesterday for the next week. And um, I've done different fruits. So in this one I've got banana, pear, raspberry and spinach. And then that can just be defrosted slightly and then that can be blended. And then this one is for my green smoothies where I add the celery, the cucumber and the kale. And this one's got raspberries, avocado, apple and um, water, that watercress spinach rocket mix is in here. And then I've done enough for seven portions of each. So there's roughly seven days worth of each. A bag of blueberries in there as well. Um, so yeah, if I do get hungry and I do find I want more, then I can have more than those portions. So basically that's my breakfast on that side and my afternoon snack. And that one's my green smoothies for my lunch and my dinner. So, yeah. I can always make another one. There is plenty of fruit in the freezer, as I say, from what I did yesterday. So, excuse the mess. Right, so what I do in here is I store my vegetables in water. As you can see there, that's a water bath. And I found that that's keeping the celery fresh for a good week. So, uh, I bought four heads of celery yesterday. Um, I keep my lemons in water. Now these are these are what I bought yesterday, um, and I bought some limes as well. And I'm keeping them in a terracotta bowl to keep them cold. Um, but what I do, what I do is, I store them in jars of water. And I've had these lemons in these jars of water for probably about four weeks, maybe five weeks. Um, I change the water every week just to give them fresh water, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. So I just keep them in my jars of water. Um, they're kiln the jars so they have a good seal on the lid to keep them fresh. And then I keep them on the shelf in the pantry, just on the shelf like that. So, yeah. The other thing I do is with my lettuce as well. I do the same with my lettuce as what I do with um, my celery. I put it in a bowl of water to keep it fresh. So they're kept in there and in the pantry as well, it'll keep them nice and cold. So uh, yeah, this is how I store my food. I've got my bananas in a basket on top of the slate slab, which keeps them nice and cool. Um, I've got pomegranates, these are the, uh, mangoes that were left from yesterday but they're not ripe so they need to stay in here to ripen up a bit. I've got oranges as well and I keep them in a glass bowl to keep them nice and cool. I keep my uh, peppers and my cucumbers up here that keeps them nice and cool. It keeps the If you take the cucumbers out of the plastic they last a lot longer so that's them. Um, and I got my pears in a little basket here as well, trying to ripen them up. I keep my potatoes in a basket. These are baking potatoes. Uh, these are baking potatoes for my husband. I keep a towel over them just to keep the light off. And uh, they keep really well in the basket. It's one of these tower, tower baskets. And in here I've got red cabbage and white cabbage, which I'm going to make sauerkraut with. I bought some beetroot, which I'm also going to make sauerkraut with and put it in with the red cabbage. I've got sweet potatoes, um, which I bought two bags of. 
which are for my husband for his uh, stews and things like that. So I also made a cottage pie the other night with lentils and used that and potato on the top for him so that was really good. Um, and I've got two on the bottom here. I've got red onions, a bag of white onions as well. So uh, these potatoes are what's left out of a sack that I bought earlier in the year. So they could probably do with being used but uh, they're still quite good. There's still quite a few in there on that middle shelf. So that's how I keep my food fresh. Um, I also have a watermelon here, which is going to need using soon. But on the slate slab, that seems to be keeping quite fresh. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do with that. I need to sort out this spinach with its uh, kitchen roll to keep it dry in the bag. Because it's going to start going off. Um, I've also got this hanging basket here with food in and I've got cauliflower in this one. I've got some more of those beetroot that I bought. I keep my garlic in here to keep the air circulating and keep it fresh. I bought some parsnips because um, they were on offer in Tesco's for 49p. I've got another cabbage at the back there and some... Um, courgettes which I bought last week and they're still good uh, good to use and I've also got some Jersey Royal potatoes which I think need to get covered up because they're going a little bit green but uh, yeah that's my my food that's how I keep my food and that's how I keep it fresh thank you for joining me today and uh, having a look around my fridge and my kitchen. If you found it useful, me showing you a few of the things that I'm doing daily to keep going on my juice and smoothie fast, how I'm keeping my food fresh and uh, how I'm not having any food waste. I'm managing to use everything and not throw anything away. So that's been really good. That's been a real learning curve for me. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go on and get my smoothie and go and get on my housework and uh, we'll have a catch up later on as to how day 12 has gone so i hope you have a good day whatever it is you're doing i'm going to get out in the sun as well a bit later on and get out for my walk so i'll take you along with me do hit the notification bell at the side of the subscribe button it will uh, let you know when i update new videos so i will give you an update of day 12 in my next video and uh, i'm going to go and get on with my day so have a good day and i will see you next time so bye for now bye